All right, guys, I knew it'd just be a matter of time before we actually heard from Charlie Sheen responding to the accusations levied against him by Corey Feldman. In case you don't know, Corey Feldman put out that Charlie Sheen abused, abused Corey Haim in 1986 when Corey Haim was only 13 years old. And Charlie Sheen was 19 years old when they were filming the movie Lucas, directed by Steven Spielberg. And the details are pretty graphic. Very, very graphic. And now Charlie Sheen has responded. But Sheen also denies these accusations are true. He actually says this, quote, These sick, twisted, and outlandish allegations never occurred. He also stated that he hopes people will take into consideration what Haim's mother, Judy Haim, has to say. Now, Judy Haim is actually on the side of Charlie Sheen. This is just mind boggling. This this news is really just kind of getting started. It's going to get a whole lot more messier before we get real answers on this. But it says here in 2017, Judy defended Charlie From the accusations, which are initially made public by the National Enquirer and actor Dominic Brassia. My son never mentioned Charlie. We never talked about Charlie. It was all made up. If my son was here to hear all of this, he would throw up. End of quote. So who do you guys really believe in this? I can't believe one person over the other. I don't know what to believe. This is just getting really, really messy. On one hand, hand you have Corey Haynes, best friend, Corey Feldman, saying that Haynes told him exactly what happened with Charlie Sheen. And on the other hand, you have Corey Haynes, mother, who's saying it never happened. I don't know who to believe. The only person that truly knows what happened is Corey Haynes and of course, Charlie Sheen, but Corey Haim is no longer alive. He passed away in 2010. So I don't think we're ever going to get any final answers to this. And it's just so sad. It's just so unfortunate. The Me Too era in Hollywood is still happening right now today. I guess maybe it was at its height in the 1980s. I'm not real sure. There's a whole bunch of sick people in Hollywood. And. I don't know what to believe about all this. We even know that Kevin Spacey, he's a creep. He actually um, did something with Anthony Rapp and Anthony Rapp brought it up. And and Kevin Spacey looked very, very bad in his in his response. This is sad, man. This is just so sad. I don't know what to really make of all of this. I wish Corey Hain was here to actually give us his take on this story. I mean, his mother says that he didn't tell her, but being a little boy, you would think his, it would be kind of hard to tell his mother. So maybe he did confide into his best friend that it happened. Maybe he found that to be a little easier. We don't know. We'll never find out the complete answer to this. But Charlie Sheen has said this has never happened. But however, Corey Feldman's ex-wife, Susanna, said that it did happen. So you have a bunch of people that's just kind of going back and forth now. It's he said, she said. Nobody knows the real truth. Well, actually, somebody knows the real truth, but nobody's going to give in. We want the truth. We need the truth. And we need to get all of these sick people out of Hollywood because even if Charlie Sheen actually did what he did, he's not the only one. Corey Feldman actually mentioned like two or three other people. One of them was an actor. There's nobody that I know and I highly doubt that many of you guys will actually know the names of these other people. But anyway, what do you guys think of this? Charlie Sheen vehemently denies anything happened with Corey Haim. We'll see what happens going forward on this. But guys, 
Let me know what you think about all this in the comments. If you're new here to the channel, please hit subscribe to catch future videos from me. And we will catch you on the next video. John Matrix out.